Rob Kampa. I live in New Jersey, but I grew up in Rochester, New York, and I play guitar in Dope Pop. Uh, in college, we all met each other. We went to Berklee College of Music in Boston. Um, and I met our keyboardist, Eli, in a reggae ensemble. And, uh, we liked playing music with each other, and it just kind of went from there. Yeah. I wanna dwell where the air is cold. Um, well, I guess I did pick it at, at some point in my life. Like I was like, I'm gonna do this. This is what I'm gonna do. But at this point, like I don't really know how to do much else. So it's like, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, but I, I love it a lot because of the people that I meet, like I meet a lot of kindred souls, you know, and I guess I felt like a little bit of an outcast when I was younger because I didn't relate to a lot of people. And then once I like got to college and was in a music program where everybody only talked about music or cared about music, I was like, I, I, I related to everybody all of a sudden. And I like that. Um, and I guess it feels good to, to be good at something, you know. Uh, I'd be lying if I didn't say I enjoy that. Um, and as far as the type of music we play, I love like improvisation. So I love that like in music you can get away with whatever you want and take as many chances as you, as you want and nobody ever gets hurt. We're not brain surgeons or anything. Nobody's gonna die on the operating table. And I like that. tough to do. Uh, you know, occasionally on the road we'll, we'll make a rehearsal happen or something like that. Uh, Eli's always writing on the road, like on his computer, like all the time. But the tricky part is rehearsing all of it and arranging it. Um, I feel like we kind of go into hibernation a couple times a year. Rather than try and make it happen on the road, we're already so exhausted and working so hard just playing shows and playing so much every day. I think more often than not, the approach we take is that Eli writes a ton of tunes, or some of us do. I, I write when I'm at home, and I don't write nearly as much as Eli, but I'll, I'll try my best, you know? And uh, then we kind of, I guess, go into that hibernation when we have like a month of off time where we just learn a bunch of new music, you know? That's sort of our approach. I don't know if it's the best one, but it's what we do. Well, I think our senses of humor and our inclination towards awkwardness, like we kind of like to make people uncomfortable, so we like dissonance and uh, kind of weird inside jokes or something like that. I think that contributes to it. I think there's a lot of bands that have like a positive message, which is really great. Like we need, the world needs that a lot right now, but we're not that band. <laughs> we're the yin to their yang. And I'm happy to be that. I also think, um, in a more specific direction, I think the sound of like that we're a rock band, but we have like '70s style synthesizers. Is I think that contributes a lot. And uh, beyond that, it's you know it's up to each person who hears it. I don't know. I'm I'm too close to it to have my own opinion about it. I like it here. I like Asheville, North Carolina a lot. Uh, I like New Orleans because they have the World War II Museum. That's always, we, we did that last time and that was awesome. Uh, I don't know, man. They're all good for different reasons. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I like Nashville a lot too because you, you uh, there's like literally guitar in the air. Like, 
you hear it everywhere. It's like a huge part of the culture. I'm a guitar player, so of course, like I go nuts when I'm there. That's really fun. I enjoy that.